Hello everyone, welcome to another Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung, and if you've been watching my other GNS3 videos, you know that we can easily drag in a router, 3725, we can console into it, life is great, right? But wouldn't it be nice if we could drag in this ASA firewall and get it to work? Wouldn't that be great? Well, I'm going to show you how to do that right now, and it's actually a lot easier than you think. It's not too bad. So, we have a couple prerequisites we have to get out of the way first. Your GNS3 is already working. You have no problems dragging stuff in. Uh, you know, you've been working with CCNA or CCNP level labs, not a problem. Second, you have to find the ASA image first to put into GNS3. And what you're looking for, if you have basic Google knowledge or basic BitTorrent knowledge, you can find this very easily. You are looking for ASA 8.4. Now when you get ASA 8.4 out there, it will probably be in a zip file and it will come in two pieces, hopefully it will come in two pieces. There should be a NIT RD file and then there should be a kernel file. Now they won't, the NIT RD file will be obvious because they'll probably have dash and NIT RD somewhere in the file name. The kernel file will actually be called VM, let's see what we got here, VM Linux, something like that. Okay, so you don't need to worry about that. You just have to find this ASA file, unzip it, and you're going to get these two files by default. Okay, with that out of the way, our first order of business is we open up GNS3, we go to Edit and Preferences. So GNS3, Edit Preferences, QEMU. First, we have to make sure QEMU wrapper is working. We're going to just click on Test Settings right now. If it works, great. Uh, usually this is kind of a 50-50 shot, and the reason is this path to the QEMU wrapper might be wrong. So if this test fails, what you should do is click on these three dots right there. It will point you to your GNS3 folder. Hopefully it will point to your GNS3 folder. Scroll down until you get to QEMU wrapper. Click on that. Click open, and it will change the path to that. If you want to change the path to the working directory, you can. In, in my case, I am running a RAM disk. So I'm going to point it to my G drive, which is my 4 gig RAM disk, just because I'm running a lot of RAM. And you keep everything the same. You might want to click Test Settings again. I'll just apply and Test Settings just to make sure everything's working. Everything's still green. So we're going to go over to the ASA tab. Notice nothing is in the ASA images folder or box down here. So we have to give it a name, ASA. I'll just call it ASA 8.4. You can call it whatever you want. RAM, we're going to make it 1024. Probably easier if I just type that in. All right, 1024 megs, number of NIC 6. NIC model, we just leave that the same. QEMU options, QEMU options. Now, this is pretty specific, so what you might want to do is go to this guy's blog. I'm going to bring that up in the screen. Anthony's blog is called Cisco Inferno, and he's written a very good write-up on how to do this. In, in fact, this came up, I was starting this video, and then I searched around to see if anyone blogged about it, uh, blogged about putting ASA on GNS3, and he just did this a couple days ago. So kind of a coincidence here, but basically it's the same steps. But what he has here is he has the exact commands that you're going to type in there. So it's probably easier just to copy that. Q E M U options. Move this off the screen and just paste that in there. Okay, init RD, you're going to click the three three dots there. Actually before we do that, let me bring you to a folder which I have luckily already downloaded this file. So I've popped it in my router images file. This asa.zip is what I found uh, somewhere on the internet. Uh, ignore that folder, but uh, just double click on there and you can see I've got initrd.gz. Do not unzip this, leave this uh, gz zipped. And then vm linux, linux, z, however you describe that. I'm just gonna copy that and just extract that out here. So I've got my three files there, or actually it was, I think those three right there. So this text file, what is that? Well, let's see, he tells me how much RAM I should use, the NICs, uh, he gave me some other QMU options. Uh, let's see if they're, if they're the same as what's on Cisco Infernal. 
Inferno, not Infernal. One second here. So dragging in these QEMU options. Let's see if I could put these somewhere close to each other. Dash M102. So they're slightly different, but not, not too much off. Nothing to be really concerned about. Okay, so we've pasted that stuff in there. That's all good. Init RD, I'm going to click my three dots and find that init RD file. Kernel, I'm going to click the three dots, click on that VM Linux file. So we're making paths to the particular files. And this kernel command line, looks like it remembered it from a past thing. I'm going to nuke that out. Where do I find this? Well, if we go back to Cisco Inferno blog, I've got this right here. I'm just going to copy that. Sometimes you'll get lucky and it might have been included in a text file inside of that ASA file you found on the internet. And just make sure everything pasted in there should have. Okay, so that's good. We're going to save it. Click OK. Get back to GNS3. Drag this ASA firewall in there. Cross our fingers. Hopefully it works. And it dragged in there. So that's, that's good. That's a good sign. We're going to click play. And then we're going to console into it. Let's see what happens. Now this is actually the first time I've played with this particular ASA image. I've played with other images found on the internet, but this is this is going to be a first. So you can see all this this crapple is flying across the screen. Let's right click that chain settings. I change my font here just so you can see it a little bit better. All right, our ASA is booting up. It actually takes a long time. Uh, I actually paused the video in between uh, while it was kind of resting on the command line and it took an extra 45 seconds to a minute for me to get to this prompt. So we've got uh, Cisco ASA prompt here, password, password is blank on this particular image, it could be Cisco on other images. So let's see if this functions like an ASA. So if you do show IP in PR like you are used to, you know that doesn't work. If you've played around with ASAs, it's actually backwards, show int IP PR that will get you there. And then, of course, ConfT, interface, Gigabit Ethernet 0. Yeah, so this is a pretty easy video, hopefully, of running Cisco ASA inside of GNS3. Uh, main things to remember, you have to find the file first. That shouldn't be too big of a problem. Going into Preferences, make sure you, your QEMU works. Then as you go to the ASA tab, make sure... You have all these uh, sections filled in. The name doesn't really matter. The RAM 1024. Keep the NICs default. QEMU options. That will probably be in a text file that came with that image. Or you can get it from the internet. The init RD and the kernel paths. That's just pointing to the two files inside of that zip file. Uh, obviously you're going to unzip that main file. Take out the two files. The init RD and the kernel out pop them somewhere, probably in your router images folder, and then you're going to point these two paths to those files. Kernel command line, get that off the internet. Uh, Cisco Inferno.net is a good place to go. You can get them from other places, but this guy has the hot blog topic right now, so give him a couple extra hits. And then remember to save it. Then after all that, just drag in a Cisco ASA firewall, Hit play, click on console, wait about two minutes. You might just want to, and that's two minutes. I've got a Core i7 with lots of RAM. i got eight gigs of RAM. But uh, if you have a slower machine, you might just want to just leave it, make yourself a cup of hot tea or whatever, and come back. Because it, it does take a lot longer than a regular router to boot up. Okay, that's another Router Gods video. Thanks for watching.